Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to lock, hide, and protect a worksheet or workbook in Excel. So I've got my cryptogram column divided uh, workbook here that I, I made a couple videos ago. So say I want to send this out to some people and maybe I don't, you know, I, I put a lot of work into creating these formulas here and I want to make sure that nobody messes with these formulas, but I also might want to prevent any users from being able to see the formula up here, okay? So there's a couple things that I can do. So if I want to lock the whole sheet or just part of it, the first thing I want to do is just select what I want to lock or hide, okay? So I'm going to select that and then right click here and then select format cells. So from here, I can choose to lock or hide, okay? So if I want to leave this section open, so maybe I want them to be able to type whatever they want here, but not over here, I can select this column or these cells and I can actually unlock them by right clicking, format cells, I can unlock them. And then I'm going to select this and I'm going to right click again. I'm going to click on format cells and make sure you're on the protection tab. If you're, if things are looking a little weird, that could be why make sure you're on the protection tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock and I'm also going to hide them. Now hide doesn't hide these cells. Okay. It hides the formula that's in them. So it can't be viewed up here. So just wanted to differentiate that. So I want to lock and hide these. So I'm going to click on okay. So that doesn't do it right there, okay? You got to take one more step, okay? Because it doesn't want to mess things up while you're still working on it. So before you share it with anybody, you want to click on review. And then depending on whether you want to protect just this one sheet or you want to protect the entire workbook, you'll click on one of these two buttons. So I just want to protect the sheet, so I'm going to click on protect sheet. So one of the first things you'll see on this little modal here is password to unprotect sheet. So this is a, a pretty wise thing to do if you have some, you know, somewhat savvy people uh, who will be, you know, receiving this, you can enter a password here. Now, what I want to let you know is that you need to make sure you remember this password. So I highly recommend that if you are going to use a password here, you have uh, you have it saved somewhere where you can access it in the event that you forget it. I would even potentially copy and paste it in here just to make sure you didn't mistype something. So if you want to password protect it, you can enter your password, click on OK. It's going to ask you to re-enter your password just to make sure that you know what it is. Um, but again, be warned that if you lose or forget it, it cannot be recovered. So um, there may be some way of getting it, um, but I, I wouldn't trust it actually. So um, just something to keep in mind. So now you will want to check this, you know, protect worksheet and contents of locked cells. And then there's a bunch of different permissions here. So these are different things that your users can do. So do we want to allow them to be able to select locked cells or unlocked cells? Do we want to allow them to format, format rows? So do you want them to be able to adjust the column or row widths or heights, um, delete anything? So anything that you want them to do or have, you know, be able to do, you check those boxes there. And then once you have made your selection, click on OK. And there you go. So where you used to be able to see that formula up here, you see that it's now hidden, so you cannot see it. But since I did not hide uh, these cells, I can still see that up there. Now, if you need to work on it again, you can just click on Unprotect Sheet or Unprotect Workbook, depending on which, what you chose, and it goes back so you can see that. So um, there are a lot of options that you can do in this. Um, so just kind of poke around, see if you get the result that you want. Be very cautious about making sure that you have that password written down somewhere securely or saved somewhere securely just so you you never lose track of it. So I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful videos. Leave me a comment or a like or whatever if um, you know, if this was helpful or if you have an, another question or an idea, you guys give me a lot of great ideas. So I appreciate that very much and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.